Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Redemption in the Underhive. Welcome guys to this very special showcase video which we have for you all today. Um, super, super honoured to be able to show you guys a classic metal redemptionists gang from Necromunda from back in the day. Uh, this really has uh, stoked the uh, fires of memory for me from when I used to see these guys on boxes and on gaming tables back in the day many, many years ago. And uh, we've had the pleasure of working on some of them for our clients. Uh, Nick is the artist here at Siege that has worked on these really beautiful models. Uh, let's jump in and have a look. Uh, now, there's so much character with all the individual models that are in this gang. Uh, and there's quite a few of the extra models as well, uh, more than just the core set, which is really cool also. So we're going to start from left to right and just go through them. All of them have uh, free-handed flames across all of their uh, cloth work and stuff. So all the flames that you see are free-handed. And they've all got these really iconic chevroned, uh, sort of weathered and rusted Necromunda bases, which is just awesome. You've got this chap here just with a grenade launcher. Uh, again, really, really awesome set of models. Uh, loads of character. We've got this massive axe-wielding maniac. Uh, just really, really cool model. And uh, again, Nick's done a great job working with these incredible sculpts uh, from back in the day, uh, picking out every little detail and doing all the little bits of freehand sort of fire that are on them, uh, but just a really brilliant execution across this. I love the red tones on the skin, uh, just really, really nice, the purpley sort of hue as well, just to complement the red on the skin. Um, we'll move through some of the ones at the front first, just so you can have a look. You've got this guy here wielding dual uh, almost like Mac 10 Uzis, which is just really cool. Uh, but again, just awesome, awesome models, uh, just with those very iconic kind of sculpts that they've got. Uh, but yeah, just a lovely, lovely execution on the painting. Uh, we'll move through all of them, as I said. I do want to pull them all forward because uh, it's not often that you get models like this into the uh, into the studio, and uh, we just really, really want to you know, show you guys obviously the beautiful and classic and, and almost document them as well because they're just, you know, they they are really, really old models and uh, just, just brilliant. Um, so yeah, this chap here, uh, just wielding a flamer. Uh, again, just a, a, kind of like a massive gorget there around his neck to protect him, but obviously there's all flames on that as well. Um, and then if we just move back to this chap here at the back, probably one of my favorites from the gang. Uh, you've got this almost pr like priest-like chap here with a purge with fire on his back banner. Uh, with a book with loads of scripture on it and obviously you've got flames all over the miniature. Uh, again, I love the very sort of uh, worn and archaic kind of metal work on all the weapons. Uh, they look really, really old uh, and looks like they've been using them for a very long time. You can see all these eyes and everything all fully painted on him. Uh, but again, absolutely love the uh, bluish tones on the black cloth work as well. I just think that complements really nicely, almost like purplish blue. Uh, which is really, really nice. So that's just that chap. Um, and then we'll pull forward this other guy who's probably one of my favorite models from the set. Uh, to love him with his melter gun there and uh, just about to, uh, to John Wick someone there with a book. Uh, but yeah, really, really awesome model. You can see all the lips, teeth and eyes and all fully painted on this chap as well. We just move around the back and see all those freehand flames that have been added to the miniature. Uh, and again, those awesome Necromunda bases that these guys have got. Uh, and then we'll pull forward uh, the shotgun wielding chap here. Again, really did love it. He's got like a combi flamer as well, which is obviously they've all got flame weapons being redemptionist, but you can see the face masks that he's got on all the green grenades. Nice desaturated green there for the grenades. Uh, and then if we move around, you can see all of the metal work and, and all the little details pull, picked out on these miniatures. Uh, just really lovely. Then we'll pull forward the uh, guy with the brazier on his head and the really cool chevron kind of like chain weapon arm thing that he's got <laughs> which is really really cool uh, so this guy is just awesome again see all the eyes and everything all fully painted on these guys um, another, another John Wick wannabe with that book um, so yeah just really really cool with all the flames and everything and nice chevron patterns bit of weathering there on the uh, on the cowling of the uh, sort of chain chain weapon that he's got there uh, so that's just him uh, this guy wielding aloft an auto gun uh, again, a really, really cool model. I love the fact it's got like a rope just uh, just holding on to him, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome miniature. Uh, they just do not make models like this anymore. Uh, and then we've got the guy here with the, uh, the very infamous uh, chain flamer. <laughs> 
again, really cool. Looks like he's going to need someone a very, very bad day. Um, but yeah, just an awesome, awesome miniature. Again, all those free-handed flames on the cloaks, just really nicely executed by Nick. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the guy at the back with the sword. So you can see him just telling his uh, fellow chums to uh, to eradicate him, which is uh, really, really cool. Again, nice sort of rusty sort of sword there, as you can see, with like little bits of scratches and chip work on it. Again, really nice attention to detail on all the cloaks and everything. Uh, again, just really well done. Uh, and then we've got a couple of little acolytes here. Um, these are probably your juves, uh, which are just really cool. So again, just uh, all the little freehand details done on them, all those flames around the sort of uh, hood there. Uh, nice pump action shotgun, uh, which is really cool. So that's just him. Uh, and then another guy here with an auto gun with a flamer on the end, as you can see. Again, really nice. I love the, the sort of purplish, pinkish kind of tones in the skin. Just really helps uh, to, to work well with the uh, overall colorway of this, uh, this gang as well. And then the penultimate chap here with the dual pistol was another juve, as you can see. Uh, again, with all the flames done free-handed around the, uh, the bottom of his cloak. All the rope and everything fully painted uh, and all the skin tones and everything done through various stages of highlighting. Uh, love the worn metals on the guns as well. They just look really good. Uh, and then we've got this final chap here. He's always like a priest. Uh, looks a bit berserk, which is really cool. Uh, Nick's obviously painted all the eyes and tongue and teeth and everything, as you can see there. Um, doesn't know whether he's going to use the gun or the axe, I suppose, as he's charging towards somebody. Again, an even bigger book on his back. Uh, but again, a really, really awesome, awesome model. Uh, do hope you like them ever so much. And that's the whole Redemptionist gang, this very, very iconic and classic second, kind of a second edition kind of era 40K kind of. I remember these uh, the boxes for these having chevrons on them. Uh, again, just a really awesome set of miniatures that we've uh, had the absolute pleasure of working on. They're now off to purge the underhive. I do hope you like them ever so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.